Hello everyone, let us discuss an important topic that is classroom climate concept and components as a part of our unit 2.6. Moving ahead, the first question that is what is classroom climate? So when we think of a classroom climate, what are the ways by which we can define it or what is your perspective about classroom climate? So if we see that a classroom climate or the classroom climate is an intellectual social, emotional and physical environment where students can learn as a byproduct of the social interactions between and among teachers and students. So it is a space where the students or it is called an intellectual, social, emotional, physical environment. So it is basically an environment that deals with these four aspects that is intellectual, social, emotional and physical. And here the students learn concepts or learn about a particular subject or anything in general by interacting with the teachers and their friends and by learning through the interaction that they carry out with each other. Now, students experience that the classroom as not just an intellectual space but also as a social, emotional and physical environment like we have just discussed. Classroom climate is a perceived quality of the setting. There is no uh, concrete uh, object or there is nothing uh, concrete that we can call as classroom climate, but it is a perception or maybe we can call it a per perceived quality of the setting. Uh, and uh, it is something uh, to be felt by the students and the teachers and anyone who visits the classroom. It emerges in a somewhat fluid state from the complex transaction of many immediate environmental factors. So there are various environmental factors that could contribute to that. For example, the physical, material, organizational, operational and social variables. So it is a combination of all the influences that these factors put on that. So it is somewhat in a fluid state because it keeps on changing depending on uh, the extent to which each of these factors are contributing to that uh, given state or we can call climate. Now Hodgett and Altman in the year 1979, they defined classroom as a set of properties of the work environment which are perceived by individuals who work there. So it is a perception of an environment which is understood by an individual who are working there and which serves as a major force in influencing their job behavior. And he, they also say that it has a lot of influence on the way they perform their job or they perform the task that is given. So this was said in the year 1979 by Hodgett and Altman. Now, what are the ways by which we can promote a positive classroom climate? So when we think of a classroom climate, we know how it is important, what it includes, and what are the factors that influence it. And after understanding all this about classroom climate, we also know that a positive classroom climate is very essential in order to work towards a given goal. So how or in what ways we can promote a positive classroom climate? A positive classroom climate would seem to relate to enhanced quality of life for both the teachers and pupils, broadening the focus in education from strictly academic learning to social and emotional development as well. So the literature says that developing a positive classroom climate uh, would involve not only focusing on the academics but providing them the flexibility to look at the other aspects which are important for an overall development of an individual like the social, emotional, physical aspect apart from the academics. A proactive approach to developing a positive classroom climate requires careful attention to the following things. First one is enhancing the quality of life in the classroom for students and staff. So you need to provide them a good environment or good uh, good quality of uh, maybe we can say situations in the classroom so that it can enhance their experience both of the students and the teachers. It should also pay attention to pursuing a curriculum that promotes not only academic but also social and emotional learning as we just discussed and enabling teachers to be effective with a wide range of students. So a te 
it also uh, requires a teacher who can handle and deal with different kinds of students because not every student is same and not every student would possess the same skills or would possess the same behavioral pattern so as a teacher you should be uh, versatile and should know how to handle a wide range of students and the fourth one that is fostering intrinsic motivation for classroom learning and teaching so it should also involve promoting that intrinsic motivation or making the students and the teachers intrinsically motivated and promoting them to understand the importance of that intrinsic motivation in order to carry out classroom learning and teaching and with respect to all this the literature advocates that in order to create a positive classroom climate the school or the classroom should have a welcoming caring and a hopeful atmosphere so a child should feel that he or she is welcome they are cared and they have some belongingness or some hopeful atmosphere there which where they can feel comfortable there should be a social support mechanism for students and staff so there should be always a support system in some form uh, which can help them uh, realize that they are being supported an array of options for pursuing goals there should be various opportunities provided to the students as well as uh, to the staff so that they can pursue their goals which might change as they progress in their career or as they progress in their education meaningful participation by students and staff in decision making as students and staff are considered uh, important stakeholders of an institution or an organization involving them in making decision would play a very important role as they would feel that their opinion is important and that would ultimately lead uh, in developing a positive classroom climate then transforming a big classroom into a set of smaller units that maximize intrinsic motivation for learning and are not based on ability or problem oriented grouping in most of the schools uh, it is seen that the classes are divided into various divisions based on the kind of students uh, and that they have like intelligent students are put together in a class and the students who uh, are who lag behind or who cannot catch up with the syllabus or that do not understand things that easily are put together but in order to create a positive classroom climate we should definitely divide bigger classrooms into smaller uh, smaller units but that division should be based not on the ability or problem uh, oriented grouping but it should be based on uh, how they can motivate each other to learn and how they can contribute to each other's growth so that perspective is very important and uh, if when we try when we look at that grouping or that division of students in smaller groups based on that uh criterion it will be easier to create a positive classroom climate as everyone will be involved in everyone's growth then providing instruction and responding to problems in a personalized way so there will be certain times when the teacher or uh, the mentor will have to uh, understand a student um, by going beyond what he or she is supposed to do in a professional manner so it is important that the teacher also understands that sometimes certain issues certain problems are uh, need to be dealt in a personalized manner which can help them overcome that and use of a variety of strategies for preventing and addressing problems as soon as they arise and we should have all the strategies and all um, the solutions ready for the problems uh, so that as as soon as they arise we can handle them uh, very easily in a healthy and attractive physical environment is conducive to learning and teaching so we should also take care that the physical environment of the classroom is good and is conducive for the students to learn now when we talk about classroom climate and basically when we think of its components what exactly uh, it includes so classroom climate includes social system organization the way uh, the social system or the way students are or the teachers are organized or the way they uh, carry out their task in the classroom the social attitude that is a part of the classroom climate or the attitudes that are practiced in the classroom staff and students morale then power control 
guidance, support, and evaluation structures that are used. Curricular and instructional practices, the way uh, curriculum is being transacted and the way uh, the other instructional practices are conducted, like the other activities that usually happen in a school. The expectations communicated. So whether the expectations or whatever that is expected of students and teachers is communicated to them or not, yeah, does play a very important role. Efficacy, accountability of the students and the staff, cohesion among the members of the team, competition. Now when we talk about competition, we are referring here to a healthy competition which is not done or it's uh, not uh, aiming at uh, putting someone down and uh, raising your standards instead taking inspiration from someone who is better than you and trying to improve upon yourself and the fit between key learner and classroom variables whether you are able to fit uh, the conditions that are a part of your classroom and the kind of learners that you have and system maintenance growth and change the way you manage your system of school and the way you focus on the growth and the way importance that you give to the change uh, in the functioning or maybe the practices uh, official or academic that happen in an institution and order, orderliness and safety which is again very important because uh, the orderliness that is maintained at the administrative level at the academic level plays a very important role in safety of the students both physical psychological and social plays a very important role so these are certain things that classroom climate uh, includes and uh, it is quite a complex topic and uh, there are various aspects of variables that could contribute to this so if you have any queries related to this topic please feel free to type it in the chat box thank you